All right, now that you can create links, you're gonna to wanna to create your own transitions. So I'm gonna set up a link here, and instead of choosing a transition, I'm gonna click the new transition button. This brings me into the transition designer. Now I'm seeing the two screens that I had in the canvas that are involved in that link, but one of them is locked. I can't edit this screen. It just looks however it looked in the canvas. And this screen here, which is the end screen, is available for me to move around. And when you click this button or press the space bar, you go to the end of the transition where it's reversed. This screen I can move and this one is locked. So the screens will automatically go to where they need to go and the center of this area here represents your device. So you wanna move the screens so that they're not visible. The start screen should be not visible at the end of the transition and the end screen should be not visible at the beginning of the transition. And then Flinta will automatically animate those in to where they need to go. And so you can uh, layer these on top of each other and do like an opacity where one screen fades in over the other. And I've got a little spring bounce happening. So down here you can set the uh, spring timing or use classic easing as well. So I change this to be a little bit more sensible. And you can get really crazy with a lot of different uh, rotations. You can scale the screen down, move it way off over here. You can even do 3D rotation. So you can get some really wild effects that way. Now this is what you might call a full screen transition. I'm not manipulating any of the layers inside of these screens which you could, you can go in and select individual layers and move them, but that's, the, that's a topic for the next video. So when I'm done with my transition, I like how it looks. It's a good idea to give it a name and then click save and exit. Now you're back in the canvas and when you select this link, you can see that I'm using the show menu transition and I'm gonna put a back link here Go to the preview, and I can test out the transition that I made. Now you can reuse transitions across multiple screens. So I could actually use that same exact transition here, make a link to this screen, choose that same transition, and now when I go to the preview, I can use it on both of those links. And if I edit the transition here, or on any link that this transition is applied to, those edits, happen on every instance of that transition. Just like that.